so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video we are going to talk about how we can model that kind of medieval well model in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video we are going to talk about some modeling tips and tricks so make sure you watch this tutorial till end and this is the part one and part two we'll just talk about how we can do shading and texturing in the same model so make sure you subscribe my channel also and enable the bell button as well so when i upload the video you will get the notify okay so now let's start the tutorial so here you can see guys this is the grayscale render of this uh, medieval basically here you can see this is the grayscale render i have just used the uh, basic light here okay inside this well and i just put one light into top of this well here you can see if i'm just gonna enable my overlay view so here you can see this is the first light and this is the uh, second light and okay, and inside this well we have also one light here you can see okay so if i'm just gonna switch my uh, rendering mode so here you can see that looks something like that okay guys so now let's start the tutorial so okay so first of all i just want to start a new project file yeah something like that okay and then i'm just going to enable my shortcut vr so you can easily see which key i'm pressing on the left hand side you can see easily okay so first of all i just want to um, split this screen here to here something like that and i will just call my reference image which is help to create that model basically so i'm just gonna enable my image editor and here i will just open that image which is i have already saved so here i'm just gonna open that image so, so here you can see guys this is the reference image basically so first of all we'll just create a um, well part basically so for creating the well part we'll just use the default cube so i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that yeah and something like that as well okay you have to just create a little brick uh, piece basically okay so that look fine to me and after doing the scale make sure you apply the scale because if you not apply the scale so maybe you will uh, not get the exactly modifier effect yeah, you will add something else so you will not get exactly same effect which is you add into that object which is you have already scaled so make sure you apply the scale first of all yeah something like that okay so after that i'm just gonna add one modifier it's called basically array modifier okay so first of all we'll just uh, change the direction of this uh, cube something like that i think yeah in x axis okay and make sure you apply the rotation as well pressing the control a then i'm just gonna add the array modifier so here you can see now we'll just get a perfect array modifier okay and after that i'm just gonna increase little bit factor value into this these two cube basically so i'm just gonna pressing the value one point uh, okay i'm just gonna press the value 1.01 .01. so i think that much uh, gap is look fine to me okay and after that i'm just gonna increase the duplicate count at least 10 so we'll just hit the 10 here okay so now here you can see we have a, that kind of shape here so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add one more modifier here that's name basically simple deform okay and we'll just change the twist as a band so it will look something like that we'll just change the axis and see which axis gonna suit to us so i think z axis is look fine to me i'm just gonna increase the angle to 360 degree yeah so here you can see it will look something like that and that's look nice to me okay which is we want exactly that kind of round shape and then i'm just gonna edit mode of this cube and here i will just add uh, one and two as loop in between here so we'll just get a smooth shape here yeah something like that okay which is look nice to me we'll just do one more thing what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add a bevel modifier also okay so and i'm just gonna decrease the amount of bevel from here yeah something like that i think that much amount is look nice to me okay and we can increase the segment as well so we'll just get a smooth edges of this uh, part basically okay and we'll just do right click and do shade smooth and after doing the shade smooth make sure you enable the auto smooth under the normal section if you're still facing the uh, shading problem after enable the auto smooth from the normal section so what do you have to do you have to just go to your modify section and here you have to just uh, go to your uh, bevel modify section enable this uh, shading panel and make sure you enable this hard and normal so you will just fix the shading problem here as well okay so now we have a, a smooth surface here which is look nice to me so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my top view and here i'm just gonna keep this shape into a center yeah something like that i think that's look nice to me okay and we'll just uh, duplicate this shape pressing the shift d and we'll just press the z for the axis yeah something like that and now i'm just gonna repeat this command pressing the shift r one two three one two three four five i think five is look nice to me okay and after that what i'm gonna do here you can see we have a little variation into these two parts so for creating the variation i will just uh, change the origin point as a 3d cursor 
yeah something like that and we'll just select these alternate uh, shapes from here and we'll just do R and we'll just do Z so we'll just create a little uh, variation into these parts so here you can see it will look something like that and that's look nice to me so here you can see our well part is look nice I'm just gonna delete these cameras and light because right now we don't need it okay yeah something like that and we'll just change the our uh, origin point as a median point so we'll not get any problem when and after that we'll just create a that kind of part here so for creating the, that part I will just uh, move my left view and here I will just add one cube here and then I'm just gonna scale this cube something like that and uh, I think that much scale look nice to me and we'll just scale this cube something like that as well and we'll just keep it here to here so we'll just move our front view and I'm just gonna keep it here to here and we'll just little slide yeah and we'll just uh, scale also something like that we'll just see on the left hand side I think that much uh, width is look nice to me we'll just go to edit mode of this uh, cube and we'll just enable our x-ray mode and I'm just gonna scale this little bit something like that I think that much scale look nice to me okay yeah I think that much just look nice to me and we'll just do right click and do set origin to geometry so we'll just get our origin into middle of this shape and after that we'll just use a mirror modifier to create other side of pillar so I will just use a mirror modifier I'm just gonna add the mirror modifier so we'll just use the mirror shape uh, of this part basically yeah something like that so here you can see now we have a perfect mirror here now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna create a, that roof part so for creating the roof part I will just add one plane here I'm just gonna scale this plane something like that and we'll just move this plane here to here okay and we'll just keep it top of this part something like that and we'll just go to our top view and here I will just go to apply the scale first of all and then I'm just gonna edit mode of this uh, plane and here I will just add one edge loop in between here and after that I'm just gonna select this middle edge loop and we'll just drag it a little bit up something like that and that's look nice to me okay and after that I'm just gonna select my whole plane and we'll just scale it a little bit something like that I think okay so I think that much scale is look nice to me and we'll just exit the edit mode and I'm just gonna apply the scale first of all we'll just drag it a little bit down this plane something like that I think that's look nice and we can just do little scale then we can just do little up yeah I think that would look nice to me we'll just apply the scale first of all and we'll just change the set origin as a geometry something like that now what I'm gonna do here you can see we have a, that separate part also in this area so for creating the separate part first of all I will just uh, add the one as loop in between here and then I'm just gonna do control B for the bevel and we will just move it here to here something like that yeah that look nice now I'm just gonna select the those faces yeah these faces basically and we'll just do shift D for the duplicate then we'll just click the left click and then I'm just gonna press the P for the separate so here you can see now we have a separate part of this area as well okay now I'm just gonna add the uh, solidify modifier into this uh, part for adding the little thickness so I'm just gonna increase the little thickness something like that so now here you can see we have uh, that kind of part here now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna add the also solidify modifier into this part as well I will just add a solidify and we'll just decrease the value on a top side in a minus side basically yeah so that will look something like that and that look nice to me okay and after that what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna select the top uh, edge of this part and if you're not able to see the top edge make sure you enable the that option so you will see the top edges also and I'm just gonna do bevel this part basically so I will just do control B and do bevel and it will look something like that okay and I think we have to do same thing with the uh, inside part as well so I'm just gonna hide everything apart from these two shapes I will just select it both part and we'll just uh, go to unhide everything and then we'll just select the, this part again and we'll just do control B for the bevel and we'll just get this shape also yeah so now that look fine to me okay now we'll just go to edit mode of this top plane and we'll just uh, dissolve these edges because we don't need is these edges basically I'm just gonna dissolve it and then I'm just gonna select the these two faces and we'll just do right click okay and do subdivide one two three yeah something like that I think two is look fine to me okay so after subdivide make sure you apply your solidify modifier then you have to just select the top faces of this uh, roof something like that 
and then I'm just gonna press the alt E and we'll just do extrude individual faces something like that and we'll just press the right click and keep it back and then I'm just gonna change my uh, origin point as an individual origin then we'll just do scale pressing the S so we will just get an individual scale something like that here you can see if I'm just gonna do it again here you can see something like that and now I'm just gonna do uh, alt E extrude along the normal so you will see something like that so now here you can see we have a row part also and which is look nice to me okay and we'll just uh, select the these faces by the way and we'll just do extrude something like that and which is look nice to me also and we can just uh, select these uh, edges basically side edges and we'll just move it a little bit down here yeah. So here you can see our root part is also look nice to me and I'm just going to change my origin point as a median point. Okay, so here you can see that looks something like that. So now I'm just going to create a, that supporting pillar basically. So for that I'm just going to my front view. No, I'm just going to my left view and here I will just add one cube. And I'm just going to move this cube here to here. I'm just going to scale it and do it a scale on a Z axis something like that. And I think that looks nice. We can just scale it a little bit more something like that. Yeah, that's look nice i'm just gonna my left view and here i'm just gonna keep it here to here and we'll just rotate this something like that and uh, we'll just uh, scale also this part so first of all i'm just gonna move it a little bit down and we'll just keep it here to here i think we have to just change our orientation as a local orientation keep it here to here we'll just move it here and we'll just move our mirror a little bit outside yeah something like that okay and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna my left view and here i will just gonna edit mode of this cube and here i will just uh, enable my x-ray view and i'm just gonna select my this part and move it a little bit up here to here and i will just change my orientation as a local and keep it here to here so now here you can see that look something like that and which look nice to me and we can just uh, move these faces also a little bit down yeah okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna do uh, same mirror of this uh, other part also so i will just use a mirror modifier and i'm just gonna add a mirror modifier into this part after adding the mirror modifier make sure you add one empty object here then i'm just gonna, and then i'm just gonna select this part and i will just choose a mirror object as a empty i will just select the empty yeah so we'll just get a something like that and now i'm just gonna click it y axis so here you can see we'll just get the other side mirror as well and here you can see that looks something like that and which is look nice to me okay and one more thing i think we have to do it we have to just little scale this part i think we'll just do little scale something like that and we'll just apply this scale first of all yeah that look nice to me now what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna create a this middle part so for creating the middle part i will just add one cylinder here and i'm just gonna my front view i think left view and here i will change the align as a view and i'm just gonna scale this part a little bit something like that we'll just move it a little bit up something like that and i'm just gonna keep it here and i will just scale it something like that and after doing this scale make sure you apply this scale as well so i will just do ctrl a and apply this scale now we'll just create that part so for creating the that shape basically i will just go again my left view and here i will just add one cube i'm just gonna scale it and i'm just gonna keep it here and i'm just gonna keep it here to here and i will just uh, scale this part something like that and we'll just scale this part also this something like that and i will just apply the scale first of all and we'll just uh, duplicate this cylinder pressing the shift d then i'm just gonna scale it okay and i will just uh, keep it here to here and i'm just gonna scale it this something like that and i'm just gonna my left view and i'm just gonna scale it little bit something like that and i will just keep it here okay and i'm just gonna move it here to here and i'm just gonna scale it a little bit more and we'll just do duplicate again pressing the shift d and on my y axis and here i'm just gonna keep it here to here i'm just gonna scale this part also some something like that on a z axis I scale it a little bit more apply the scale first of all then i'm just gonna drag it a little bit down and i'm just gonna scale this part little bit from the back side first of all i will just add one as loop here then i'm just gonna scale this part a little bit back side basically then i'm just gonna select these uh, edges and i will just okay and then i will just do bevel something like that so we'll just get that shape something like that 
now that look nice to me now we'll just create a rope part so for creating the rope part i will just uh, use a one modified it's called basically extra mesh if you want to enable this so you have to just go to your add-on section here and here you have to just search the extra you have to just search the extra mesh and curve object make sure you uh, enable the both of the add-on and then you have to just uh, select the object where you want the rope and then i'm just gonna press the shift a and i will just go to my curve section and here i will just uh, go to my knot section and here you will see the spiro fit so here you can see when i've just hit this spiro fit you will see something like that that curve is gonna wrap perfectly with this cylinder and i'm just gonna increase the spiral uh, amount basically so i think that much amount look nice to me and we'll just increase the detail resolution as well so 10 is look nice to me okay now after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna scale this spiral something like that and after that make sure you apply the scale and then i'm just gonna call property section and here i will just go to my geometry section and i will just enable the depth so here you can see we'll just get a depth something like that okay so first of all i'm just gonna increase the resolution as well yeah so here you can see now we have a perfect rope shape here now i'm just gonna select the uh this last edge of this uh basically last vertices of this rope and then i'm just going to extrude it pressing the e one more time and then i'm just going to press the e and second time i'm just going to press the e so here you can see now we have a perfect rope here if you want to move it a little bit here to here you can move it according to your desire yeah now that's nice to me okay now here you can see our uh, overall molding is done now we'll just create uh, this uh, bottom part so for creating the bottom part i will just add one plane here i'm just going to scale this plane something like that and after that i will just create that kind of uh, brick shape here basically so for creating the, these bricks i will just add one cube again so i'm just gonna add one cube and i'm just gonna scale this cube something like that and i will just move this here to here i'm just gonna scale this something like that and i will just apply the scale first of all now i'm just gonna add the one modifier it's called basically array modifier i will just add array modifier and i'm just uh, gonna increase the little factor value so i think that much factor values look nice to me i'm just gonna scale it here and here as well okay so i think that much scale look nice to me i will just apply the scale then i'm just gonna increase the number of uh, count i will just keep it here to here yeah something like that i will just increase it yeah and we'll just do duplicate and we'll just change the factor to x to y 1.1 so here you can see we'll just get a uh, other side also i'm just gonna decrease it yeah We'll just increase one more and we'll just increase this plane size something like that and we'll just move it a little bit here and after that i'm just gonna apply the both uh, array modifier into this part then i'm just gonna edit mode of this uh, shape i will just press the p and we'll just do separate by loose part so exit the edit mode and i will just do right click and here i will just do set origin to geometry and then i'm just gonna delete some middle uh, shape basically yeah something like that okay so now this look nice to me okay so after complete this we'll just create this bucket for creating the bucket part i will just add one i think i will just add one cylinder here and i'm just gonna hide everything apart from this cube i'm just gonna move it keep it here and we'll just rotate it something like that so here you can see guys our modeling part is almost done we, we model everything in this part and that looks nice to me and in the next part we'll just talk about how we can do texture in this model and how we can um, add a material and add the lighting also so make, so make sure you subscribe my channel whenever i will upload the video you will get the notification so now thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys